Let's move on to question number five. All right, so how do you find dy of dx by implicit differentiation? Well, differentiation, not differentiating. Uh, given this function, okay? So implicit differentiation is a different cut way of differentiating functions when you have a function that is not easily uh, explicitly differentiated. That means that the y is on y one side and the x is on the other side, okay? So you see here that it's very hard to isolate for y, um, so we're going to use implicit differentiation instead, okay? So you take everything, all the terms, in, uh, and you differentiate in terms of dx, and uh, so I'll show you guys how to do that. So let's, first of all, let's write down, uh, let me change my thickness again. Okay, so let's say d of dx of x times y cubed equals d of dx of y plus x, okay? So we're gonna use the, we have to be wary that there's a product rule here. So let's do the product rule first, okay? So product rule is, uh, so the uh, derivative of x is just 1, so 1 times, um, so it'll be, let me just write it out entirely, so it would be d of the x of y3, which is just 1, so x, the derivative of x is 1, and then derivative of y cubed, so this is also a chain rule, right, times x. So derivative of chain rule would be uh, plus 3y squared times x. And then we have to derive the, in, der, derive the inside, but we're going to just say y dy over dx for now, okay? So that's the left side, okay? So this was a product rule with a chain rule too, okay? So for the first one, we de uh, derived x, which is 1 and we left the other function alone, which is y cubed, and then we derive y cubed, which is also a chain rule, so we move the 3 down, uh, minus 1 on the exponent, and then we uh, had to say dy dx, because we have to just write that up, because we don't really know what y equal, is equal to, okay? So for the other one, this is just uh, dy over dx plus 1, okay? So it's the derivative of y, which is just dy over dx, and then it will be just derivative of x, which is just 1, okay? So now we're going to isolate for dy dx. So we're going to move dy dx to the left side and everything else to the right side, okay? So we have 3y squared x uh, dy dx minus dy dx. And then on this side, we have 1 minus y cubed, okay? So now we're going to factor out dy dx which just leaves it with 3y squared x uh, minus 1 equals 1 minus y cubed. And finally, we're going to move this whole term to the other side. So dy over dx equals 1 minus y cubed divided by 3y squared x minus 1. Okay, so we have now found implicitly differentiated for uh, y in terms of x uh, by doing uh, through this method of implicit differentiation. Okay, so the junior treater also did that, and um, they got the correct answer. So, so uh, just to clarify a bit, so implicit differentiation, we don't know what y is equal to. So instead, we're just solving straight up for uh, dy dx instead of isolating for y and then differentiating. That's why when we come down to the chain rule here, and when we come down to differentiating y, we just write dy over dx because that's what we're that's what we're differentiating for. And then once we do that, once we have this step finished here, we're just able to isolate for dy over dx, and we notice that our derivative in the end is a function of both variables. Okay. Uh, in explicit differentiation, when you, when you derive, it'll be a function of your uh, independent variable. But here we have dependent and independent here because we're, are, we're unable to isolate for y, okay? <clears throat> All right.